Hello, 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 and welcome back to Grand and Chic. This is Adija. If this is your first time here, thank you for coming. Welcome. We love having you here. Grand and Chic is a fashion community that inspires women to find their best style and curate their forever wardrobe. Um, so if that's what you're looking for, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you'll be the first to know whenever we drop a brand new video. If you're a returning subscriber, you know we love having you here. I dropped the women over the age of 40 because I heard that i was scaring away some of my followers and that's not that's not what we're trying to do here we are welcoming community um i used to say women over the age of 40 because that's who i am i was describing myself but i have also realized that i have a bunch of followers that are not over the age of 40 but that also needs some style tips so i am always happy to have you here i am here to inspire all women to find their best style and curate their forever wardrobe so please join the family. Before we get into the topic right now, I want to remind you of the giveaway that we have going on. If you haven't done so yet, please subscribe to this channel. Then like the video on chapter 63 and on the comment section of chapter 63, right there here for the contest. I also will be doing live videos on Fridays at 7 p.m. Eastern. Um, it's just to have a fashion chit chat Q&A. If you have any style questions, if you have any questions on perfumes and stuff like that, we can do all the things and just chit chat and catch up as girls. So today I will be talking about different types of handbags. Um, have you ever known that there's such a thing as right handbag wrong occasion? I have noticed that a lot and I thought, hmm, that's a mistake that we make a lot and I just wanted to go ahead and correct that. So they are, to me, there are three kinds of handbags. There is a tote bag, there is a cross bag, and then there is the clutch bag. So I am going to tell you what occasions to wear those three kinds of bags. A tote bag, I will put pictures of what a tote bag looks like, like the Fendi first tote, like the YSL tote. There's so many totes that even to me, actually, um, Coach makes really beautiful totes and their totes are full leather. If you give me the YSL tote or the Coach tote, I would actually take the Coach tote because it's leather and the YSL tote is not. So I actually would take the Coach tote and it costs a lot cheaper. So there's so many totes and there's so many options, but that bag is a day bag. It's a bag that you use to run errands. It's a bag that you use to travel with. It's a day bag. You carry stuff in it. That's what makes mid so big. You carry, you slap stuff into it. You're traveling, all of your carry-on stuff you can put into it. You're going to run errands. You, you carry that bag so you can drop things into it. It's a day bag, period. It's an errand bag. It's a day bag. It's, a, it's just, it's a day bag, basically. And so if you're well-dressed, and you're wearing like a beautiful T-length dress and you hold an errand bag, kind of throws it off, right? So it's a beautiful bag. It is worth wearing, but it's the wrong occasion. And so somebody will ask themselves, why would I invest $1,300 on a YSL tote bag for it to be a day bag? And it's, you, it's for you to decide whether the cost per wear is worth it. Because people, for example, a person like me, I don't have too many special occasions to go to. But I want to make sure that when I go out of my house, it's a runway. If I'm going to the grocery store, Giant is about to be my runway in the streets. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I will put it on, you know? I will put it on. I will make sure that I'm looking good because that may be my only outing for that entire week. I just don't go out like that. And so I put it on everywhere I go to. So to some people it's worth it. To some people, the cost per way is worth it. To some people you want to look put together at every point. So that is a day bag. The second category of bags for me is the cross bags. And that's me. The cross bag is a finisher for a casual look. I too have made this mistake. I have worn a cross bag over formal looking outfits. So please, this is no shade. I just love cross bags to the point where I just feel like I should wear them everywhere. And so there are times when I'm really well dressed and I wear a clutch, a clutch bag, but some, uh, I mean a cross bag. But sometimes what I do is I turn my cross bags into clutch bags where I put in the, the strap inside the bag and I hold it as a clutch for an evening occasion. 
but a cross bag is made is the finishers for casual outfits so if you're wearing jeans and a t-shirt if you're wearing a casual skirt and a top if you're wearing whatever you're wearing for a casual look a clutch bag is the finisher you're going to a barbecue and you wear a linen pants and a shirt a, a cross bag would go just fine um but you cannot wear a casual look and wear a clutch purse to it you know it's an evening bag so rolling into the third category of bags for me is evening bags evening bags are usually smaller in size and they're usually i would i would say more embellished than other bags because evening bags are for you for special occasion bags if way when you're well dressed so you would see them either smaller they usually have satin fabric on it or they have some embellishments like some rhinestones on it but they're usually much smaller right you will not see somebody wear an evening gown and wear like a large size of a fendi first a fendi first in sizing differs with the occasion so when you get a large fendi first that is a, for a casual outfit but when you wear a small, get a smaller size of a Fendi first, that's an evening bag. So it's all is different depending on the sizes and depending on the looks that you're going for. But you cannot wear an evening gown with a big bag. Not that you cannot, but it looks kind of off. It doesn't, it doesn't finish the look the way you would want it to finish. So if you want to finish her for a, a formal look, you want a smaller bag you want a more embellished like it has some more embellishments on it and you can see the difference right you can see the difference from a casual bag and a more formal bag and so people think that if you buy a pricey bag you're supposed to wear it in any occasion and it doesn't it it actually downgrades your look you cannot be wearing a beautiful dress and then you're wearing a casual bag you cannot like your shoes are, are, are formal your dress is formal your makeup is beat and then you have a casual bra it just it it kind of the symmetry is not there it's not taking the full look to the end because to me if you want to put a look take a look from the beginning to the end right if you're going for a certain vibe take it from beginning to end right so when you're putting your looks together and that's why i always tell people be intentional about your looks like if i'm going somewhere next weekend by now i know exactly what i'm going to be wearing nine times out of ten i actually tried on the look to see how it looks on me because my weight has been fluctuating a lot lately i would actually put on the outfit like maybe i'll just be leaving the shower i'll jump into my bathroom my closet put on the outfit and if it doesn't fit i would start working on it so I am very intentional about how I look. If the outfit fits, I start thinking, okay, how am I going to accessorize this? How am I, what am I going to add to it? How do I want to look? What vibe am I going for? Am I going for a more formal look? Am I going for a more casual look? What am I going for? So it helps me know how to accessorize that look. And then when I finally come out, I look like I spent days putting my look together. And it's because I really did spend days putting my look together. I thought about it. I put it together and i put some thought into it i thought about the accessories i thought about the outfit i've made sure that the vibe that i'm going for is translated from the beginning to the end and when you do that you carry your look with more confidence and you like the way you look and so it translates better when you're not confident about the way you look it, it translates people can see that you're not confident about what you're wearing and so it's kind of harder for you to stand up and walk around it's just it translates people can see that right and so be comfortable and confident in what you're wearing. And one of the best ways is to plan your looks. So remember, there's such a thing as right bag, wrong outfit, or right bag, wrong occasion. I don't know if you have ever thought about that, but I hope you learned something, something for this video. And I hope to see you on my next video. Bisous.